So 802 Arizona time. We're gonna start with some little bit of core work for a Monday morning. I don't know what you guys did yesterday, but I had pizza, so I gotta work it off. Um, you know, the bender ball is a great tool, but if you don't have it, you can always have a towel. So know that that's an option or a pillow. But what I'm gonna do, and as I always like to do, is start you laying flat on your back with your knees bent, and you can have a ball or a towel between your knees. That's just an option. No, you don't have to have it. But having that ball or towel between your knees actually helps you to just have a nice little alignment and it have a better inner thigh connection. So you ball between the knees. You're going to lay flat on the floor. Take your hands behind your head and tuck your chin. That way, you're not lifting your chin up. So you're looking over your knees, hands at your side and your shoulders are flat. And when you're doing this, it's just gonna help you to get a nice open chest. Take a deep breath in and fill up your belly. When you exhale, press the navel in, and then inhale, the belly rises. So we'll do this several times, and all what we're trying to do here for our core conditioning class is to understand what imprinting and neutral pelvis is and it also is helping you to engage those lower belly muscles you're not using your glutes if you touched your booty it would be a little jello-y and i say that with love okay i know there's muscle there but i don't want you to use them when we're tilting with our pelvis so exhale and inhale eyes are gazing over your knees try not to close your eyes i want you to feel the muscles working with your eyes open. So you're very present in the room here. Present with your breath. We'll do about four more of these. Shoulders are flat. Your fingertips can be reaching toward the front of your mats or your palms can be up, whatever works for you. One more time. Exhale here. Now keep your back flat. And if you have that ball or pillow between your knees, bring the knees up. Okay, we're gonna go right into this strong work here. Take a deep breath in, and on the exhale, I want you to just press away just two inches and then back. Little presses, little presses, two inches, okay? So when you push the heels away, you're pressing the belly down. You're not kicking your legs up, you're just driving the heels out and in. Exhale, inhale, all the air, exhale, Inhale. Here's four, and you might want to count with me, that way you know you're breathing. Three, two, and one. Now, your knees are bent, you're imprinted. We're going to keep that 90 degree bend, and the thighs bones drop down toward the floor and up. This is harder. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale as you drop the heels. Inhale. Notice your neck muscles might be tightening up there. I just noticed mine were. So I want you to relax the jaw and, set and blow out of the mouth. We've got five, four, three. Squeeze that ball or pillow. If you don't have anything, just squeeze your thighs together. Two. And one. We're not taking a break here, but you're always welcome to. Now, the thigh bones are going to come toward your chest. There's a little lift of the tailbone, not at the chin, of the tailbone. Exhale. Exhale. There's a the breath in to fill up. Exhale. Back always stays flat. Come back to the 90 degrees. I want you to really have to work those lower belly muscles. Five, four, check in with your shoulders. Three, two, and one. Now, you're back to the starting position. Hands go behind the neck, interlace your fingers. Your pinky fingers are holding at the base of the skull. Take a breath in. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Look toward your knees. Exhale, and inhale. We're working on a thoracic flexion. Exhale and inhale. And I'm going to move my hand so you can see my chin 
is a fist distance off my chest. I'm not jamming my chin into my chest. I'm lifting the head and the shoulders up. You've got four more. You can squeeze that pillow or ball. It, makes, it gives you a little help there. Three and two. Leave the head and shoulders up. We're going to build on to this. Now, you bring the thighs toward your chest. The head stays in place. You got eight, seven, six. Make sure you come all the way back to the start. Five, four, three, two. One, we're gonna get, we only have two more things to do. You're gonna lift your head and shoulders as you bring your knees to your chest. Eight of these. Seven, feeling that burn. Six, I'm bringing that pizza off. <laughs> I wish it was that easy. Four, but it was good, it was worth it. Three, two, and one. I want you to just stay where you're at. Bring the right elbow up, come back to center. Bring the left elbow up, back to center. You have seven more on each side. So exhale, inhale, here's six. Elbows wide. So don't bring your elbow in, Turn. lift your shoulder up. Here's four. Strong breath, squeeze that ball if you got it, three. And two, I'm sorry that you have to suffer for my pizza experience. And one, and one. Now you may take your head and shoulders down, remove that ball, hug the knees to the chest. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Arizona. Reverse the circle. All right, one foot down and then the other. Let your knees rock side to side. We always like this. This is the the sugar-free dessert part of the workout. Oh my goodness. Now from here, just roll over to your side, come onto your hands and knees. Come into the quadruped position. And we really worked, we warmed up the back so it should be easy to tuck and arch. Where did my ball go? Oh, you've got the ball or pillow, put it between your thighs and you want to lift it up higher, okay? Close to the pubic bone, close to the groin. Because every time you, Tuck, squeeze that ball. You'll get more, a deeper um, engagement of the lower abs. Exhale, and then let it go. Exhale. So I'm not so much in my neck and shoulders. I'm not really forcing the neck. I want to feel the lower belly do the work. And then arch. And exhale. And inhale. Let's go for five more. Fingers wide. They're really spread apart. Four elbow creases toward the front of the mat. Breathe all the air out. Three and two and one. Now, curl the toes under. You're going to lift your legs up maybe just two inches. I call this, it's, well, I don't call it, it is called bear pose. You're lift up and squeeze in that ball or pillow and let's sweep the floor with our knees. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Lower it out, remove the ball or pillow, and then just take the hips back. Drop the head. Take a big breath in and sigh it out. And then come on back up. Okay, you with me so far? <laughs> you don't have it. Well, you do have a choice. You can shut me off. <laughs> Grab that pillow or blanket or, or, um, or towel, put it between your knees. See, I wasn't sure if I was going to use this, but now that I have it, I'm using it. Okay, so we've got it between the knees. What I'd like you to do is decide where your feet need to go, okay? They don't have to be close up. They can be far away. The main thing is I want you to sit nice and tall here. I'm going to tie my hair back. So you're going to sit nice and tall. You're going to think about squeezing the ball. Let's go into the I Dream of Genie arms. You're old enough to remember I Dream of Genie, right? <laughs> Squeeze the ball. And rock back. Now, when you come forward, just let the elbows come over the knees. Exhale, rock back. 
Inhale, lift. <clears throat> Exhale, rock back. And inhale, lift. It feels more comfortable to point the toes to the floor. That's fine. I just kind of like my toes up. I like to dig my heels in. Two more of these, guys. Ribs, pull back. And then collarbones lift. And one more. Now, you're going to rock back and hold that rock. Rotate to the left, then the right, then the left, then the right, and exhale. I kind of feel like, the, like a little washing machine move here. <laughs> okay, five. Squeeze those knees together, four. Hips stay still, three. Two. And one, hold it, take a deep breath in. Go back a little further, exhale. Inhale, stay, and then all the way up we go. And then let's remove the ball and just let your knees go apart a little bit. And you can even rock them a little side to side here. Okay, we're gonna go back on the floor, laying back. You can keep, uh, take the ball away. Uh, we don't need it right now, but keep it handy. We're gonna open up those hips a little bit. So roll down, find that Openness in the shoulders, feet together, knees apart, and we're just going to open up all that area that we work on. Like we started our session, navel to spine, there's a pelvic tilt, and then an arch. Now think about pressing your feet together, tilt up, and roll up, and now roll the spine down and relax the feet and the knees. As you exhale, navel to spine, squeeze the feet together, roll up. Inhale, exhale, and roll back down. Let's go five more times. Exhale, shh. Inhale, stay. Exhale, melt down. Feel the body sequentially rolling down. You get that wave. Exhale as you roll up. Eyes over the chest. Inhale, stay. And then roll on down. Four more times. Up, see if you can use those booty muscles and roll back down. It's three, roll on down, and two, and down. And you're gonna hold it up here and stay up here. Just stay lifted. Now, the little toe side of the feet are what's propping you up. I want you to use your hands now to tuck your shoulders, your stump with the glutes. Lift up one leg, place it down, hips stay lifted. And the other leg. Now you don't have to come as high as I am, but just give it a lift. Yeah, that's it. And lift. The knees are pointing out. Ooh, I'm dropping my hips here, I can see it. So I have my thumbs there to remind me that that's where the, my hips should be. Let's go for five. I'll go a little quicker here. Use the breath. Four. Three. I'm exhaling to give me that little lift. Two. And one more each way. Stay lifted, stay lifted. Now, roll on down. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay, bring the knees together, walk the feet apart, and windshield wiper. <laughs> Good thing I have you on mute. I can't hear you moaning. <laughs> All right. So grab that ball or towel or pillow. You're going to bring your legs, imprint your spine and bring your legs up to tabletop. My heels are going to be together, my toes apart, and you want to put the ball, the pillow, the towel between the heels, the ankles, okay? And then now take your hands and put them right in front of your thighs so that you know this is like a brick wall here. You don't want to break the wall. Look toward your heels. Exhale, reach up with the legs. And then when you bend in, just bring the thighs to the hands. You don't want to come in any closer yet. Exhale. And inhale. Drive it up. Now, watch out. You're not driving up. You're not driving up. So you're not coming up here. 
That's a different exercise. You're driving out. Different? Oh yeah, harder, I know. <laughs> Let's go five more. Squeeze that pillow, that towel, that ball. And four, shoulders are flat. Three. And two. Last one, I'd like you to hold it there. Take a big breath in, exhale, bring the legs up and down. Let's stretch those hamstrings, exhale. Only go as low as you can maintain the imprint. So if you can go lower and keep your back flat, yay you, okay? Five, four, three, two, now. Last one, go back to your diagonal, bend the knees, hands at your side. We're gonna go to those little rolls, okay? Let's go for eight, seven, watch those shoulders. Six, press your index for your knuckles down in the ground, that'll help you. Three more, look toward the ball, watch the chin, two, and one. Okay, can you stay with me for one more? Hands behind the head, let's make this quick. Rotate right and left and right. You've gotta get the lift. It's lifting the elbow up. It's not trying to touch the elbow to the knee. Here's four. Squeeze that ball. Three, two, and one each side. Come back to center. Bend the knees, grab that ball, one foot at a time down, and rock it out. Okay, we're gonna do a little stretch for those glutes while we still work our abs. This is one of my new favorite ab things to do because I love two for one specials. So let's cross the right ankle over the left knee and uh, imprint your pelvis and bring that left foot up. So create a dynamic resistance. What I mean by that is the right knee pushes away and the left knee pulls in. So you want to create that on your own. A lot of work into the hips to do that. Flex both feet. So let's stay here for just a few breaths and get that feeling, okay? And then we'll rock up and down, little rocks, little ones, okay? Just to get enough to Create that resistance of the left knee coming up, the right knee pushing away, stretching out through the glutes and piriformis. Five, four, you just drive the navel to the spine. Three, two, one. Now, left hand behind the head, right hand is on the floor. You can't see my right hand. I'll show you what it's doing. It's reaching out, okay? Take a breath in and come on up and back down. Just one side for eight and seven. Reach the right hand away, six, five, four. You're pushing the right knee away, three, two, and one. Come on down. You're gonna lower your foot down. Both knees are gonna go over to your right side. Oh yeah, there's that dessert again. Enjoy it. Stretch to the side. We're gonna be working those obliques on the other, this side eventually. Come on back to center. Both knees go to, the, to your left now. And now you're gonna stretch out through that area. All right, come on back to center, guys. Uncross the legs. We're good on this side. Left ankle over right, okay? Take a big breath in, imprints first, bring the legs up. So once again, you're gonna push that left knee away while you're pulling the right. Okay, do the best you can. If you need to keep your hand there, you need to keep your hand there, great. Now watch your foot, you don't drop it. I want you to be able to see at least your big toe. Take a breath in and now let's do those little baby rocks. All the breath out. Five, four, 
Three, keep resisting with the top leg, that bottom leg coming in. One more. Good. Now, right hand behind the head, left hand stretches out, take a big breath in. And up we go. Eight, seven. Really lift up and push that hand away. Six, five, four, and three, two, and one. Great. Bring the foot down. Both legs are going to go over to your left. So you're stretching out through that side. Look to the opposite direction. Take a big breath in. Find space on the side of your body. Exhale it out. Take another breath. On the exhale, use your abs to bring your knees all the way over to the other side. And then lengthen out through here. At least one or two breaths to get more space. And then come on back. Let's uncross and let's bring both knees in. Do anything that feels good for you, whether it's rocking side to side. I like circles just to release through the lower back, other direction. Okay, roll on over to your stomach. <clears throat> so we've been working on planks for quite a while, or at least for the last two months during our new COVID routine. Forearm planks on your elbow, uh, on your forearms, on your belly. So I always want to set you up so that you understand it is not about going into your lower back here. Karate chop the floor, pull the elbows back, bend the knees to start. I don't care if the knees are apart right now. I'm have, I have my heels touching, but I want you to lift your belly off the floor by pressing down into the forearms. And I want you to notice right between my shoulder blades, I don't know if you can see it, I'm pushing up between my shoulder blades. So my whole abdominal wall is pulling up toward the spine. That is the feeling of a plank. It is not shooting the moon to the sky. So now that you have that feeling, take the legs down, curl the toes under, lift the belly first. You can keep your knees on the floor, that's totally fine. Or you can lift the knees and press. Now I'm gonna play around with this. So you go up and down as much as you need to, but again, I don't want the butt up. You want to tuck under, get a nice strong tuck. Here's some options. You can bring one elbow up. How about that one? And down, and then the other elbow up. Okay, and lift. I'm trying to keep my hips from rocking. I don't want the hips to shift that much. That's a different exercise. I'm trying to keep my hips down. So here's what your options are. Keep your knees down. Let the elbow just reach out to the side, just like that. That's hard, I know. And you breathe, and you breathe, and the belly is pulled in. Let's go for four more each side. And three, and two, and one. I did it quickly because I know it sucks. So come on down and push back. I had to throw that challenge in today. <laughs> Why not? Okay, let's go ahead and sit up for a second. Holy crap. I feel like I just drank a cup, two cups of coffee or something. I don't know where this energy came from. Must be all the carb loading. Grab your towel, please. This is one of my um, kind of favorite exercises for people who tend to get in their neck when they do crunches. I'm putting the towel on the ground. And I'm gonna lay my uh, mid thoracic spine on it. So upper back for you non-anatomical reference people. <laughs> and my two fingers are holding on to the tips. Roll your head side to side, make sure you don't have any hair caught. Let's keep our pelvis neutral. That means that you literally can put your hand under your head if you can see my fingers wiggling out. You want to keep the arch in the back. I like to walk the feet out a little bit and lift the toes and drop the heels down. That will keep your tailbone anchored. Now, take a breath in. Elbows are wide. You're going to lift the towel and let your head hang there. 
Know that it's just in a little hammock, okay, or a little cradle. Let your head roll side to side. So that should feel pretty comfortable. Your arms are doing the work. Now, we're gonna come on down and exhale and lift. But don't go down all the way. You're working on that lift, that bow up. Look toward your belly button. Now, if it doesn't hurt you, and it shouldn't, you should be able to keep your legs straight. And your, your eyes are looking toward your toes. All we're working is right up here, the top of the six pack, the place that makes us bow up, okay? But you don't have to worry about that eight pounds of, of intelligence <laughs> and the bone, the big bony structure here that's holding your brain. Your brain weighs like four to six pounds, I guess. And then of course the bone. So, I mean, that's quite a lot of weight to lift up. So this should not feel hard but you should feel the upper abdominals work. And if you don't, lift them a little higher. There, I know you can't see this, I mean, but there is definitely a vibration going on here. There is muscle activity going on. And I'm, that's what I'm hoping you're feeling all the way up here. Let's go for eight more now that I've talked about it. You probably did 10 already. One, you can count with me. Two, reach that towel up and over. Three, Four, the towel is pushing your head up. Five, and six. Again, you can have your knees bent. Seven, and eight. Hold it there, hold it there for five, four, rest your head. Three, two, and one, and relax. Let your head roll side to side. Okay, bring your knees into your chest. The back is flat. Take your hands behind your knees. You can even interlace them if you want or grab onto one wrist. Take a big breath in. And now, pull the knees to the nose, lift the head and shoulders. You see how my elbows are out wide? They keep squeezing here. Hands stay behind the knees. We'll roll up three times. So take a breath in. Exhale, roll one. Two, I want you to balance on this third one. Find your balance point. I'm sliding out of my screen. Find your balance point. Tabletop your legs. You can hold behind if needed. It's okay. Find that balance point. You can do either Magini arms if that helps you. You can reach the arms out. You can reach them up. You can stretch up. This is our last movement here. Take a big breath in, a big breath out. Bring your legs down, lift up your spine, and fold over. Shake your head no, shake it yes. And stack everything up. So I hope you felt some good things happening in your apps today.